This video is in addition to the concepts covered in Core Lecture 1 in the Module 9, Market and Competition. IKEA is one of the leading furniture companies worldwide. But why do customers prefer to buy their chair at IKEA and not any other furniture shop? A study shows that customers value the positive brand experience IKEA offers. This video explains how IKEA designs positive brand experience to establish a market entry barrier. There are many different market entry barriers that companies try to establish to defend themselves from imitation and competition from other companies. One of them is psychological product differentiation, which can be created with positive brand experience. IKEA is selling furniture, and furniture is easy to imitate. This is why IKEA additionally differentiates its products psychologically by creating positive brand experience, which is harder to imitate. Brand experience is defined as a set of sensations of the customer caused by various stimuli during the interaction with the brand. Let's look at how IKEA designs its brand experience. Brand-related stimuli are those stimuli that express the core characteristics of the brand, like colors, shapes and slogans. IKEA has established blue and yellow as their colors of the brand. So once individuals see these stimuli, most of them will immediately think of IKEA. When individuals think of IKEA, they also connect feelings and sensations with the brand. IKEA uses storytelling to evoke these positive feelings. IKEA tells the story of being the nice Swedish neighbor. The corporate language includes Swedish expressions and all the furniture are named after Scandinavian names and villages. Addressing the customer directly and using informal language results in the feeling of being welcome and part of the IKEA community. Linking these stimuli with positive feelings and thoughts of the brand was building continuous interaction between the brand and the customer. These interactions are called brand contact. Brand contact can take place at various touch points, for example in a store, at events or through media. What is special about IKEA is the one-way store design. Customers are invited to walk past all product areas. This does not only enhance the customer's feeling of exploring, it also increases the points of contact with IKEA's products. Do you also own a blue and yellow IKEA bag? Well, this bag even creates another brand contact point in your everyday life. One specific form of brand contact is event marketing. At one of the newest stores in London, IKEA offers regular yoga and meditation classes for employees and customers. Customers will link these positive experiences with the brand. Brand-related stimuli, storytelling, brand contact and event marketing are the four pillars that form IKEA's brand experience. Other companies try to imitate what IKEA has established. However, customers link certain stimuli directly with IKEA and other companies that imitate these stimuli will not have the same effect. As we have seen, it takes time and financial resources to build brand experience as a market entry barrier. Despite these efforts, brand experience is not an unbreakable barrier. In addition, customers do not only buy the products because of the brand, but also because of the price and convenience. Thus, brand experience is only one part of the puzzle, but more on that in another video.